Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nibs. I'm Count Jocula. We got something new today. Obviously. I'm um, not sure how this setup's going to work, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, I got some stuff from Amazon today. I got this bag of chromatography paper strips. You get a bag of 50. They are six by three quarter inches. And they're kind of long. I don't need six inches of chromatography. Um, or anything else for that matter. Ahem. Uh, but, 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 but um, I figured this would be better than my regular chromatography paper. Fuck, this is so annoying. Good lord, I can't do anything. These, these are the chromatography papers that I've been using. These are clearly not chromatography paper. These are coffee filters. Coffee snobs like me will also know what these are. They're pretty good. And um, I'm using the new ones with the tab. I just had this box empty and the bag looked bad on camera. So um, that's those. Hario V60 paper filters in the 02 size. We are going to do some chromatography. Whoop. Whoop. Not with that pen yet. Uh, I already have some cut in half. In half. I'm going to put a dot of ink. I'm going to clip it to this dude. I got these beakers also. This ink has really cool chromatography. And maybe we should go up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, no, no. I don't want to fuck anything up. All right, you're just going to have to deal with me doing it all the way up in the corner. And it sucks that I don't see more pen people, like... Doing chromatography on camera. This is very, like, fascinating uh, thing for us pen friends to experience. Now, I'm going to have to figure out something to do or, like, talk about while this rises from the grave. Uh, this is not pure Proctor's Ledge, by the way. This is Proctor's Ledge diluted. Maybe, like, one-to-one -one with uh, Noodler's Blue Ghost. Just so we could see some of that complexity of color. And I like the way this is working. Uh, I already tested one. I did uh, Pilot Hiroshizuku Kirisame on this one. Just so I could test the water level to make sure I got it right. And that is amazing. It is doing things that it did not do on the, the coffee filter. That is fascinating. At least I don't remember it doing this on the coffee filter. I did do a test of that, so I'm going to dig for that while you watch that do its beautiful magic. That is amazing. Let's zoom. And go back. Cool. Cool. That is beautiful. Yes, watch that go. I'm not speeding that up because I don't know how to do that for, like, just parts of the video. And I could totally learn. The internet is full of like marvelous resources on how to do literally anything um but i'm feeling lazy and that would take a while and i mean i love you guys but not that much <sighs> no i'm kidding i do i do you guys are like my lifeblood it makes me so happy to be friends with all of the people that i have made friends with yeah whoa okay all right here Oh, nowhere to put, okay. Here's the one with the coffee filter. Oh, gotta get that in the light just right. Okay, and then here's the one with the actual chromatography paper. That is fascinating. Oh, shit, fucking exposure. Stop being such a jerky douchebag. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah. That is so neat. That is so neat. It it feel I feel like this one pulled more of the color out and like just like saturated it all up at the top there. And this one kinda like let it spread out a little more. Neat, but I like how the chromatography paper isn't quite so textured. Like this one. Cool. That is very cool. This this right here also cool. Yes. So uh I'm gonna remove this. I am going to put it on this binder clip. I have a shelf that is in front of me. 
So I will just set that on the shelf and the weight of the binder clip will make it so that it does not fall over. Cool. Um, what is this? I was like, what is N... CNT? But it's, it's Nemesine, Colsec Nebula Twinkle. I love this ink so much, and I'm glad that I have more than one bottle of it. Why, that was a bad song. <laughs> See, this is why I would never became a musician. Mostly because I'm tone deaf, but also because I am not. I would rather be a consumer of music than a producer. As much as I love it. Music is amazing, and I don't know what I would do without it. Shit, I think I did that. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll put it this way, so it doesn't touch as much. I get to see all that glitter. Look at the glitter! Oh, fuck, this is just, this is fun. I love doing this. This bag of strips was $10. <clears throat> and, like, if you cut them in half like I do, you technically get 100 And I know Chris, the one she has, um, she cuts into thirds. So then you get even more mileage out of it, but I want to like really pull these out because, uh, oh, it's just so fucking cool. Oh, God, that's amazing. You can't see that beautiful like green that's there. Can you kind of see it now? That is just fantastic. You can just, there's so much glare from my lamp. Oh, my lamp. -a. It's cool. Cool, cool. Uh, so I have a Pen BBS 500 that should be here tomorrow. Um, and of course, since I'm on like kind of restrictive pen purchasing thing, it is in the Neon Gao finish. I am so excited because I wanted to try it when they first like released them. But they didn't have that color out, and I'm like, no, 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 you're good. You'll be good. But if they come out with the super pretty one, then you can get it. But otherwise, no, you're not allowed. Um, but then the fates saw fit to smile upon me, and um, it'll be here soon. I'm so pumped. Okay, all right, that's good for that. We are going to stick that on a separate binder clip. Boop. All right. Let's see, what do we got next? Whoop. Uh, Ferris Wheel Press Candy Marsala. It's just the random one I picked up. I have them just sitting here. And... Cool, cool. This was a gift from a wonderful pen friend. I hope you are doing well. Better than well, actually. I hope you're doing, like, fan-fucking-tastic and, like, having the absolute time of your life. Because you're such an amazing human being, and I can't get enough of you. Boom! That is, like, popping on camera. I don't know if that's really what it's supposed to be doing. That is cool. I like this color a lot. It's like a, like a kind of bloody... Ooh, do I have any sitting around? Let me search my immediate vicinity. Fuck. Okay. Eh. Ooh, can I get in there? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna mess up something. Oh, Jesus. Booty. Fuck. Dick. Shit. I'm just gonna say a bunch of curse words and everything will be better. Ugh. Go. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, God. Focus on it. Please, I want to show the people at home how pretty this color... What? Uh, if I do it back here, I'm totally knocking that beaker over. I see it now. There we go. There we go. See, this is what I do with my pens. I just, like, scribble a bunch of shit. Um, I pretend I'm practicing my handwriting, but really, I'm just, like, writing and then hoping that by some fluke of God, um, what random motor skills I happen to do will come out with something pretty. <laughs> I have a, a good idea of what it's supposed to look like in my head, and I try to make my hands do the thing, but I don't try hard enough for them to actually do the thing. Does anybody else have that problem? 
Probably. This is not like a an uncommon occurrence. Boom. Cool. Cool. That is such a pretty gradient. That yes. Oh, it like I see a bit of like a blue black at the top. That's fascinating. Neat. Oh, okay. Um um, hmm, hmm. A few of these I picked because I know they're going to have cool chromatography. So this next one is Color vs. Matter. My numero uno favorite ink. And it's in this Nemesine Broad Nib. So this is going to be a super big line. Oh my god. For some reason, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said that the chromatography for this looks like the Aurora Borealis, and I could not agree more. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh. Oh wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Ooh, like, like that gold that's there, and then it goes up into that like dusty, pinky gray, and then that, like, oh, that purple. Wow, wow, guys, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am because I am having a blast, and I heartily encourage everyone to like do this with their inks. It's so. I don't know. It just adds another layer to like the fountain pen hobby, and what's better than that? You know, it's like a whole new world of pen stuff, but it's the same pen stuff. It's like you have this already, and like this is what you can do. Here's the the other one. Like, I'm I'm really glad I got this because the colors like pop so much more on the the actual chromatography paper as opposed to this. That is amazing. Holy shit! That oh god! I'm just gonna be like shit in my pants all over the place with this video. <laughs> yes, okay. So I had to do this like five hour training course at work today and like most of it was stuff I already knew and like three hours of it was completely irrelevant. Like, I had to do, um, what's it called? Fuck. I don't remember. But it's, like, certified to sell alcohol and stuff like that. And we don't sell alcohol at my store. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, that's so pretty. It's, like, purple mountains. It's, like, the aurora. And, like, reminds me of historic materials. Because the whole, the first book is called Northern Lights in everywhere but America. North America, I should say. Maybe South America? I don't know. I never really looked into that. But, um, yeah. They play a very prominent role in that series. And it's, like, absolutely amazing. It is probably my favorite Earth phenomena. I just, oh, God. I really want to go see them someday. Next, we are going to do Troublemaker Petricor. I love this ink as well. I don't think I've ever done a chromatography for this, but I think this is going to be fascinating. Because it's fascinating on paper. Anybody who's used it. Oh, I'm not paying attention to what the video's looking like. I am sorry for that. Oh. Yes. Oh, I can see it doing stuff already. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. i got to cap this pen now. Guys. Look at that! Holy shit! Whoa. Whoa. Would you imagine that that is what this ink does when you, like, kind of spread it out? No. No, you would not. There's another one I'm going to swatch that does really, really good stuff on the coffee filter. Um, Vinta Andrada, the teal one. Um, 
and it's it's already super vibrant on the coffee filter. I cannot wait to see what it does on the chromatography paper. There's so so much fun. It's so much fun. That is so pretty. Oh my god! It's like a bird of paradise. Like that pink. I want whatever that base pink is. Like, can I just have that? I just want that part, because that's, oh god, that's such a good pink. And that green, that is such a fantastic green. Like, all of these components on their own, absolutely magical. Ooh, speaking of, we'll look at this again. Yes, that is even better than it was before. Ah! Oh my god, yes. Oh man, it's going to be tough deciding which one's the best one. Oh, Kirisame is dried. No, not Kirisame. Was it? No, Proctor's Ledge. I'm stupid. But there's that so far. It's not totally dry yet. but um, And I can definitely assure you that these yellow and pink parts will glow under black light. But I am not even going to remotely attempt to try and photograph myself using a black light on this phone from 2013. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. But trust me, it's kind of magical. Yeah, go there. Thank you. That's cool. It like breaks off in the middle. Yeah. Noise, noise. Oh no, my baby. It's cool. We got it. We're good. Uh, I need to put this there. Go there. Ah, and here's Colsac Nebula so far. Really pretty. That's showing up more purple on camera, but it's really more of like a blue, black kind of thing. There's like red on top. That's neat, and this is like a complex kind of green black. like a gold black that makes more sense that makes more sense it just is more accurate anywho uh, okay I do not have pens inked for these next four so we're gonna use my glass dip pen we're gonna start with Vinta Armada I have a bottle of this and I should be doing this out of the bottle instead of the sample vial because I am almost definitely I'm going to knock the sample vial off. I'll just put it on the desk. Oh. So, um, Amanda on Amanda B's channel is like a total super badass. And when she does anything, like swatches with her ink samples, she just like puts them on the table. I'm like, yo, I would knock them the shit over if I did that. You are a way braver soul than I could ever hope to be. Um, so shout out to you for that. That is amazing. You should check her out if you haven't heard me rant about her already because she's amazing. Rant in a good way, not a bad way. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna put this on the, on the clip first. Do not have time to dry. Okay. Can I, can I get it? Can I get it? Zoom out. Okay. There we go. Oop. Oop. This is, this is rough. I gotta dip. It's an ink journal ink sample, so I'm not used to having to dip that low. Ahem. <laughs> no shade. No shade. Kinda shade. All tea, all shade. I might have to add more water to this because I'm getting a little low. Whoa! Whoa! That's doing like the same kind of thing that Pedigore did. Yeah, it's kind of like identical in in a way. Petrichor has a more vibrant kind of bluer pink in the base. We'll compare them when when they're when they're done doing their thing. Um, but yeah, that makes sense because they're they're similar on paper. I think Armada is a little bit more gray when you write with it. 
petrichor is a little bit more green, greeny blue. I don't know. Either way, I love them. This trend is my favorite of all of the ink trends that I have been present for. Like, last year, in the, like, 2017 was like Shimmer Inks. 2018 was Sheen. 2019 was a little bit more Sheen, but, like, a better Sheen in more colors. And now this year, I guess technically tail end of last year, it's like these complex kind of... I don't know who did it first, though. Was it the Sailor Studio inks? I'm not sure. I never looked into that. If you know, let me know, because I want to know. Because I like knowing things, especially about pens. I hate not knowing stuff. I don't want to be stupid. That's bad. That wouldn't... That, well, that's not really being stupid. That's just being ignorant. But still, I don't want to be ignorant. That's, like, maybe even worse. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, we are going to do uh, da, 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 and try it next because that's what's in my hand. This ink is really cool. I never thought that I would buy a bottle of a teal ink again, um, but here I am. I did, but I am also going to be doing this out of the sample aisle. This is such a saturated ink. If you write with it in like a remotely wet pen, it looks completely black. But like a really like nice kind of complex black, it's great. Go, go my baby. Baby dip, dip it. Fuck, I can't, uh, I'm not dipping far. Does not want to go. We're just gonna put a bunch down. Yeah, why not? Let's fuck this shit up. Damn. That is doing stuff. That is different. That is very different to what I've seen before, but it, oh wow, it's like developing. Like when it first started going up, that bottom part was like completely gray, and now it's turning pink. And then there's yellow, and there's green, kind of going into each other. Oh my god, this is so cool. Yes. There's the next one. Can you see? Better? I think that's better. No, not better. In the way. Noise. That is really pretty. I love those like streaks. Like that, that, like how the color kind of bleeds down, except it's bleeding up. But it looks like it's going down. It looks like a some kind of weird oily frosting on a pink cake. I don't know. That's not right. I mean, it kind of looks like the Northern Lights again. <sighs> that is really cool. <coughs> Cool, cool. I think we can put that one up to dry. Uh, I can put these guys next to each other. You go over here. It's tough getting two in there at once. That's what she said. Also, he said. Yeah, check that out. On the left is the Troublemaker, and on the right is the Vinta. Very similar vibe. 
and like they're almost identical in the top two colors. The Vinta is definitely more saturated and that pink is a lot more rosy. I am loving it. That is gorgeous. Speaking of rosy, I have like a pastel pink from a different brand that I have not tried before. Tono and Limbs or is it Tomo? Fuck. My brain is bad and I need to get a new one. Um, but yes. It was like kind of pricey, but I don't care. It looked like a really pretty pink. And I was getting the bottle of Lady Rose anyway, and I wanted to get the free shipping on Shigure Inks. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. Ugh. But, yeah. I'm excited for that. I also got a bottle of Vinta Nakar, Mother of Pearl. Uh, because I got a sample of that with my last ink light, and I am just, whoa, like, oh my god, it's probably my favorite gray with shimmer that I've tried so far. I mean, that's only three, but still. This is Troublemaker Milky Ocean, by the way. Oh, look at it already. Didn't even touch the water yet. Hell yeah, bring it on, baby. <clears throat> I kind of want to grab the Sailor Manyo inks, like Haha Nikko Yanagi. Um, I think I might do that. Yeah, I mean, they're right here. It's something to do while we watch that go up. That is just awesome. That's like, it looks like it's cotton candy flavored. And I love cotton candy flavored things. It is like easily my favorite artificial flavor and it's so hard to do right um, But it's so so yummy So yummy um, I don't know do we want to do more? I mean, I just got to make sure and I pay attention when to restart the recording because it stops after like 37 minutes But still hey hey we're going to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time. Also, um, apologies if I mentioned this already. I don't know if I did, but I use a 0.3 Pentel Graph Gear 1004 Pro. This is not the, it's the Graph 1000, not Graph Gear 1000. I'm saying it's not the Graph Gear 1000. What? Yes, I like this pencil. It's nice, but with the texture on the coffee filters, it's really hard to write, but this writes really, really smooth. Uh, let me grab one, and maybe I can do it on camera. I don't know if there's a right side and a wrong side for these, like there is the other one. Okay. Oh, shit. I gotta hold this in place. Okay. I am balancing this on my rib cage. Okay. And then, but yeah, did you see that? It was super smooth. Like, I kind of want to write with a pen on this paper. That'd be really cool. Like, watch it kind of, like, feather out. Yeah. Put NKO. I'll understand what I mean. <clears throat> oh, but look at that. That is, like, that's so pretty. Yes. Yes. Okay. We will set that up to dry. I need another clip. Cool. We will do the Nikko Yanagi next. It's this beautiful purple blue kind of color. It's like a blue, but with like pink underneath. So it looks kind of purple. And those are my favorite kind of purples. The ones that look like they're made with like a blue and a pink. Rather than like a blue and like a kind of crimson color. I don't know if that makes sense. I think it does. It should. If it doesn't make sense, you're probably an idiot. I'm kidding. That is a very horrible thing to say. And it's relatively ableist. And I'm not about that life. So. Yes. Ugh. Gotta get in there. Fuck. Zoom out. Stupid idiot. I 
can say that about me, but I'm not allowed to say it about other people. Because that's wrong. Ooh, I think I did that too low. Might get in the water. I don't want that. Oh, okay. We are just barely in there. This is crooked. Ah. There we go. Cool. We can go back in. It's doing a similar thing, but it's like purple, purpley pink. It's just like hot pink. And the pink is leaving the station. And there's that like, that's like a pretty, pretty turquoise. I'm not even like a turquoise guy. Uh, but I know a lot of people are, and I can acknowledge that is a very pretty turquoise. It's like sticking around at the bottom and it's like a ghost is rising out of it. It's fun to make up little stories for this kind of stuff. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's, it's kind of silly and childish. But I think it adds a level of fun. Not that it needs it, because pen stuff is already the most fun thing ever. But, um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, this is cute. It kind of stops. At the top, is it like see the water's going up, but the the color isn't, huh? That is a thing. Oh my god, I am kind of glad that I'm on the last two because I'm gonna do Monteverdi birthday cake because I got a sample of this and I don't really need six meals of it, so I have no problem doing it. And maybe this will be a really interesting purple. I think it'll be a good time for everybody involved. It was like 90% me and 10% um, you. No, maybe like 9% you. I got a I got a factor in the spirits of the dead who lurk about me on a constant basis. Oh, good lord! Get in my hand, hot damn poop cats! Someday I will tell you the story of the poop cat. <laughs> <laughs> Today is not that day. My bladder is too full for that story right now. Okay. Alright. Next. Yeah. Ha ha. Ha ha. I don't know which ha you, you put the emphasis on. Ha ha. <laughs> I don't want to make a joke out of it. Because, like, you know. I don't, I just don't want to, it's not, I could joke about my own language, but you shouldn't joke about somebody else's, it's, it's not cool, I don't know if it'll be like offensive, I mean, I don't get offended if people pronounce English words wrong, or like in a silly way, I think it's silly and I love it, so, I don't know if I'm an outlier. We're all the same. That. Oh, yes, look at that. I am so glad that I was adjusting the camera right when I hit the mark. Where it stopped recording. I'm trying to zoom and it wouldn't zoom. And then it's like, nope, I'm going to not do anything. Bye. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, God, I so wish I had a better camera for you. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, this is going up, like, even less far. I don't know if it'll push up a little more into the, the wet part, but wow. Cool. Oh my god, you guys have got to see this one. You don't know which one I'm talking about. So you have to stay tuned, like a good nib, and find out what it is. Yeah, yeah. Cake like Lady Gaga, cake like Lady Gaga. She's got a new single out. I am really happy about it. And I don't really like the song. But, but, I have to support the return of the Ra Ra bitch because she is fab and I have been kind of, I don't know, I've been Lady Gaga stan since like 2008. Like, no lie. 
and watching her like do stuff and like just be so fucking cool and like kind and like creative oh my god it's like a trip and then like the last two years she did like a jazz album which is cool jazz is cool but like oh i want that that just like freedom like wearing a bunch of shit it's not like the crazy outfits that I love because a lot of it was just like high fashion and not actual crazy outfits. Uh, it's just like, I don't know. Her, her music is just so liberating. And she made my perfect album with Born This Way, so I can't really ask her for anything else ever again. She made my number one favorite song of all time that I have listened to, like, every day since 2011. <laughs> That's not a joke. I just, I could listen to it all the time. Like, repeat for days. That song is Bloody Mary, by the way. It is just everything I love about everything. Like, the, the fucking lyrical content is just amazing. It's, like, religious and about love and death. And like being sad and angry and like grief. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's so cool. Ooh, birthday cake is doing some neato stuff. Uh, go get on the fucking thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had trouble. Okay. Anyway, you are not here to hear me talk about Lady Gaga. I love the prevalence of pink in her music video for Stupid Love. That, that makes me happy. She's like part of like the pink punk brigade. It's like breaking up fights in the desert. Dancing around. It's a good time. It's, it's fun. I support that. I support that. Wow. 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 Look at that. I am glad that I did that. Cool. I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily going to, but I figured why the hell not. Yes! Oh shit, I have Roaring Cleaner Sepia here. That has really cool chromatography too, so I am going to do that next. I gotta stop soon, but I don't want to. Ooh, it'll be cool to do the ones where like you wait till it's dry, and then you swatch it, and like dip it in the water. Oh my god. Yes! Queen. That is so bright. Very intense color. Okay, we, we can watch that and we can take a look. This is the one I was talking about. This is Vinta's Andrada. Look at that. That is so neat. There is the faintest haze of sheen at the very, very tippy top. Oh, you can kind of see it there. Oh, it is so razor thin, but that is cool as fuck. There's so much pink in here. I like that chartreuse. That is a perfect chartreuse. And that darker green. That's neat. It's totally different from what it looked like on the coffee filter that I don't have that one handy. Um, but it's fascinating. I have a post about it on my Instagram. Uh, Creepin' Hibs at Instagram. On Instagram. Yes. I don't know, I'm not very good at Instagramming, but I'm going to do it anyway, because why not? It's fine. All right, I already showed these. We'll do it again. They're, like, almost completely dry now. Ooh, yes. So, again, on on the left is the Troublemaker. On the right is the Vinta. And maybe we can... Oh, can we even these out a little bit? There we go. Yeah. See, you can obviously tell that the pinks are very different. The other colors are pretty much the same. But this one has a band of turquoise in the middle there that this one doesn't have. That is so cool. Yes. Awesome opossum. This one just... Oops. This one just has a really pretty gradient. From, like, nothing to red to, like, purple. That is awesome. That is so cool. It is like it is bleeding. That was a lazy, uncreative thing to say about it, but it, it's like cool. And like there's pink there. So this reminds me of Carrie. 
You ever read Carrie, seen Carrie, heard of Carrie? It is my favorite book, favorite story. I just love it. Okay, this, oops, I dropped. Uh, Colorverse Matter, that looks hella pretty. That does way more stuff on here than it does on the coffee filter. Yo! Oh, wow. Fucking exposure's kicking my butt. Okay, is that better? Maybe? Kind of? That, there we go. Now you can see it. But look at that. Oh my god, and there's so much color in this big block here. Wow. It's just like underneath the gray. And like everything is so beautiful. Wow. This one, I, I still agree. It's just cotton candy. It's totally cotton candy. It's Troublemaker Milky Ocean. Yes, that is so pretty. It goes into this baby blue and then it's just like that bright kind of like that other kind of turquoise like the ink turquoise not like the color turquoise you know what i mean i don't know maybe probably yes yes you do you do i believe in you but that's cool it's like a cotton candy castle in the sky it's just great that is awesome do you see do you see the spires of the castle or it could be a cathedral cotton candy cathedral there is a clown priest and he is terrifying Oh god, no, bad mental image. It's a good time. Ooh, shit, I left this a little bit too long. Look at that, though. That is saturated. There's a lot of ink in that ink. Okay. Drop you off. Pick you up. Okay, this is Nikoyanagi. That's cool. This is not just plain water at the top. Do you see it? There you go. You see that yellow? That's cool. It is a very, 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 very light yellow. But it's right there, right up at the tippy top. That is pretty. That is so pretty. I am... Oh, I said that a hundred times already. And I will say it again. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. We're at 102 now. Here's a challenge. Rewatch this video and count how many times I say it's pretty. Or beautiful or any synonym. Sim I never have a problem saying that word. But apparently today I do. The word is synonym. It's a hard word to say. But I thought I got really good at not fucking it up. Ah, uh, this is my Twisby Go with 1.1 stub. I gotta prime the feet. Because it's kind of dry. I bought this pen solely for the nib. So maybe once I get another 1.1, which I have one on the way. Um, I'm taking advantage of uh, the sale on Nemesine nibs that Birmingham Pens is currently having. They're all seven dollars a piece instead of the normal fourteen. So I I got like the tube rods and the point six and the point eight uh, earlier, and I figured you know what might as well. It is a way to circumvent my pen ban. I could just get a bunch of nibs, um, and it'll be like having other pens, but I get to use the same pens that I have. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but I got the fine, the medium, and the one point one. Oh, and the extra fine. Yeah. So I got all those. And that's... That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. I don't have a Yovo Medium yet. Or fine. Yeah. I have the extra fine in the Twisby Eco. Uh, I have the med the, the broad in the Twisby Eco. And the 1.1 in the Twisby Eco. So the fine and nib, the like normal nib sizes, I do not have yet. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm glad I did this one too. Look at that blue on top. And there's like a gray there, it's like a gray brown, and then it goes into like more gray brown, and then it goes into like this deep dark chocolate. And then there's like sky blue, it's like looking at, like you're on the inside of a canyon. And you're looking up, and you see that like little bit of sky on top. Or maybe it is like, hmm, like a broken tree stump. 
Oh my god, I see it. Do you see it? It's like a broken tree stump. And there's like the sky behind it. Or maybe there's like little blue flowers growing out of the dead tree trunk. It's like life and death. It's all like deep shit, you know? Yo. Guys. You guys. Brilliant revelations here on Creepy Nibs. You're welcome. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you... Ooh. See that, that, like, dusty purple? Purpley pink color going on there? <laughs> yeah. Noise. Oop, it's stuck. Cool. Blue starting to peek out a little more. Yes. 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 Okay, I promise this will be my last one. This video is going to be, like, 45 minutes long, and you're going to want to stab yourself in the temple listening to my voice for this long. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're going to keep watching that go. We're going to take a, another look at this that went up way too far. But look at all that pink. Look at all that pink. See, this is why I knew I was going to like this purple. This, 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 where did I? Oh, oh, this is purple. Yeah. Like, I like this kind of shade of purple. You can see the, you can see the pink in it on the label. Yeah. You can see the blue with the pink underneath. Good. Good stuff. Hell yeah. Let's take a look at all three of these together. It kind of did similar... Oh my god, I am not in frame. Zoom out. These guys... Oh, you can't see that one at all. the blue and the pink and this one I don't know this one didn't do it quite as much these two are really similar and these two are really similar so that's pretty neat oh yeah so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool would you have guessed the troublemaker milky ocean and Monteverde birthday cake had the same, like, chromatography? No. No, you wouldn't. You would not. They look totally different. But now when you strip it down to brass tacks. Now this is really starting to shine like a diamond. Oh, and now there's, like, I don't know. The tree trunk is growing. Or maybe somebody's burning it. It could be on fire there. The flames are licking it, like driving it into the sky. You know, this kind of looks like that like, tacky flame print that you see on, like, the bottom of Guy Fieri. <laughs> Stuff like that. That's cool. And that, like, rosy color there, and the blue. Yes! Okay, so, um, that was fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. This was really, really, really fun. I encourage you to do this at home. It is very easy. You probably have all the supplies already. You don't have to get chromatography paper. You can use a coffee filter. Just cut it into strips and dip it in some water. And that's all you have to do to get beautiful, like, artworks like this. Like, you could... If these papers were bigger... Um, and they do sell sheets of it. You don't have to get it in strips. But the sheets are kind of super expensive. And these were only ten bucks. So I got those instead. Whoa! Um... So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good time. Bunch of Nazis and all that jazz. Bye, I love you.